Norman McLaren, a pioneer and innovator within the animation industry. McLaren is mostly known for his incorporation of light, color, and motion with sound, as well as drawing on film in unique as well as effective manners. With the use of these techniques, McLaren was able to direct some of his most famous works and films, such as Neighbors, which was made in January 1952, A Cherry Tale, made in 1957, Christmas Cracker, made in 1963, and many, many more. McLaren made his debut within the film industry when he was still in art school, located in Glasgow, where he made the silent film 7 till 5 in 1934. McLaren was able to show his innovative and creative mind with the creation of 7 till 5, as it was based off some experimentation of scratching and painting the film stock itself due to McLaren not having any disposability to a camera. McLaren spent a little less than one year making this film and then went on to winning more than 200 awards as he also kept experimenting with cutting and paint, painting film stock, graphical sounds, pixelation and more throughout his 49 years within the film animation industry. His creativity as well as amazing output of films allowed McLaren to be a great pioneer in this industry considering the means of diversity in film production. Nature is likely to take that thing and use it. We're getting young artists using computers to make a new kind of animation, a new kind of type of film. One of McLaren's most known and utilized techniques within his work is pixelation. Pixelation is a type of animation technique which uses props and mainly human individuals as stop motion puppets, a technique where the live actors and objects will be shot frame by frame in order to represent and simulate movement. It's a technique which has been around for many years within the film and cinema industry. McLaren was one of the first to adopt this technique effectively in their work. Pixelation is often utilized in order to create innovative and comical traits within film. For example, in one of McLaren's most arguably famous works, The Neighbors, pixelation helps emphasizing the short film's events in a comical manner. The quick, fast, and abnormal movement, which were made available by using pixelation effectively, such as flying the air, allows McLaren to settle comedy within the film, even though, in contrast, what occurs in this short film is actually horrific as the short film ends up being two neighbors fighting to literal death over a flower. However, with the effective use of pixelation by McLaren, Neighbors is considered a comedy genre short film. McLaren, when performing Neighbors, had to think about many factors other than its comical traits, such as its shooting speeds. McLaren decided to shoot from one frame every five minutes to one from every one sixteenth of a second depending on the nature of the shot. This way, McLaren will be able to select the most desirable shot and best fitting shooting speed in order to get the demanded action from his actors. This is, as McLaren said, once it is assumed that the actor being photographed by a movie camera can stop between any or every 24th of a second, a new range of human behavior becomes possible. Norman McLaren uses sand, paint and pastels as a technique for animation. His work The Grey Hand is an example to the usage of pastel paint. While the drawing soaring in the starry night background, the hand slowly becomes black, yellow, white and then brown, and this creates a motion of transformation in between the colors. The animator starts with the painting and then continues to improve it frame by frame. Pastel paint is used each frame in grey hand and yet drawings are destroyed during the process of creating a new one. As a result, mistakes cannot be corrected. The animator has to form the original state and then start again. Therefore, this process creates a living painting. 
McLaren creates automatic mural movies as an art form that can be shown in exhibitions. Imagine a white canvas or a canvas that something painted on it, that hung on the wall alongside still paintings. The mobile's electric circuit will come into operation and the lights of the gallery near to the picture become dim while people are passing by or sitting in front of it. The canvas will become luminous with color and slowly swing into rhythmic and balanced motion, making a complete evolution of non-objective action. In the end, the canvas will be dim and the gallery lights will return to normal. Therefore, it will create a painting in action. Similarly to how McLaren used pixelation to enhance his film with comedic purposes, McLaren was able to utilize a draw-on-film technique to achieve the illusion of an effective movement within animation. McLaren drew straight away on the film stock, frame by frame. This way, he didn't need to use a camera and he would be able to see how the film was progressing as he drew. The maximum size of a film frame that McLaren worked on was 35 millimeters across, making him have to draw in a small area and not be able to add a lot of detail to his drawings. Since the frames and drawings are really small, the passing of each frame created a sort of trembling or boiling movement onto McLaren's film. However, rather than seeing this as a defect, McLaren stated that this effect gives the images energy and liveliness. This drawn on film method was heavily time consuming, making a three minute short film such as Hen Hop from 1945 take approximately 4,320 frames to draw, although McLaren found shortcuts to make this process more time effective, such as using color and drawing in black in a clear film and had color added in a processing log. This way the overlay of the film stock gave two colors. This effect is clearly and well formulated in this example of Hennel. However, drawing on clear film still gave McLaren problems, such as having to avoid dirt, dust and fingerprints to get on the film stock, which would be highly visible on a big screen. McLaren then decided to start drawing and scratching on black film, yet it made McLaren not able to see the frame borders of the tape making him have to take an approximation with his drawings so that they could fit in the frame. With this technique, McLaren was able to make Blinkety Blank in 1955 and was ever so much faster with the productions of films, even though it took McLaren slightly over a year to make one movie. McLaren used the technique of cutout while creating La Merle. In the movie, two-dimensional forms are moved by hand and filmed frame by frame. He summarized the idea behind making the bird more abstract by saying, Le Merle is full of that leaving out things. The bird is not structured like a bird, but you assume that it's got a neck. You have to supply a lot of things which are not visible, but which are referred to by the motion. Similarly to how McLaren was known for performing unique techniques, such as drawn film, McLaren was also known for his great implementation of music and sounds to his films. McLaren has previously said that his first serious attempt of making music within one of his films was once again in his arguably best film, Neighbors, where McLaren placed one certain theme behind the titles. He made it so that the theme keeps reappearing in different manners, so that when the film came to the fight scene, the audience will be able to recognize it. McLaren made sure that the motions of the characters stayed in sync with the music and sound being used. That, that the way that the characters walked were in a certain tempo, all of this well thought out by McLaren in order to facilitate making music in the film. Overall, McLaren did love to make music, however sometimes in certain films that he made, McLaren expressed his feelings 
that they were better off being silent films. For example, A Cherry Tale was planned to be made as a silent movie. However, major society and the audience believed that there was something wrong with it and missing. Thus, even though McLaren preferred the short film to have become a silent movie, he felt obligated to add music. The manner of McLaren starting to make and choose what music to use for a cherry tale started when she saw Ravi Shankar, an Indian composer, on TV demonstrating a certain typical Indian music. McLaren went to him and asked for help in composing a half Hindi, half Western music to make it for his short film. It was for then on that McLaren said, I would like to make an international language of the music for the film. From directing great, unique films, pioneering, and creating innovative techniques within the movie industry, Norman McLaren has definitely made his impact within film production. His techniques and films will live on, as McLaren, in his 49 years within the industry, has won countless awards, as well as an Oscar in 1952 for Neighbors, and getting a bomb deal for short films in 1955 for Blink the Black.